because I have a lot of experience with this plane, the main thing I'm looking for with the new CG is major trim changes or maybe some sensitivities. And this was the first takeoff and I'm not seeing any problems at all. Because I moved the CG to the rear, I was a little concerned about the elevator being very sensitive, but that didn't happen. I came right around and shot an approach because I wanted to see if this thing wanted to squat or anything on the way in, but it didn't. It stayed nice and level and was easy to handle. This video was shot first thing in the morning and there's a heavy dew on the grass. Between the dew and the foam tires, I kind of had to jerk this thing out of the grass to get it in the air. And while that can be asking for trouble with a rearward CG, plane handled it fine. Here I put it in a bit of an elevator and it, nothing felt sensitive at all. I took it up a little higher and tried a no throttle elevator and it rocked the wings a little bit, but it still felt very nice. On an inverted 45 degree upline, it tracked as good as any plane I've ever had. So I'm gonna leave this CG alone for now. Being inverted just needs a little bit of down elevator to keep it level, and that's the way I like it. I tried several different turns in the runway from different angles and different altitudes, and they all felt nice and solid. The plane doesn't feel like it wants to squat or slow down too much, drop a wing or anything. One of the things I really like about flex innovation planes is how they respond to the rudder and the change in CG hasn't hurt that a bit. The rudder remains smooth and predictable. I put three flights on the plane for this test and I can't find anything that it does wrong. If anything, moving the CG back like this has made it feel more locked in on landings. Get it up in the air and it goes where you point it. I can't ask anything more 